Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Well, the antennas, let's see, where is it? It's there. The antennas back on the truck. And uh, the couple of days went by awfully fast because I had to be out of town with some family travel. So I didn't quite get back to the video as quick as I was hoping. I did get a couple of contacts done with some video for you. And I got a couple more contacts done that happened to just come up mobile. So I have them recorded, but I don't have video to go with them. And bottom line is, the antenna's working. So let's take a look. Kilo India 5, Papa Romeo Kilo, parks on the air, QRZ. Whiskey Alpha 2 Italy, Victor Delta Mobile. The, uh, the Whiskey Bravo Zero station, please stand by. There was a station ending at Delta that's mobile. Yeah, Whiskey Alpha 2, Italy, Victor, Denmark, mobile in Kansas. You're uh, about a 5'8 here. Hey, thanks for the 5'8 into Spring Hill, Kansas. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 2, India, Victor, Delta, that we just is Tom, and you're a 5'5 uh, here in the Central Texas 5'5. Five five. QSL the 5'5, five five. thanks, and uh, thanks for the activation. Good luck. Hey, thanks for us, Tom, and 7'3, uh, drive safe. That Whiskey Bravo Zero station, come on in. Five nine Montana, Mexico Tango. Eight hey, kilowatt four Tango, Kilo four Tango. Whiskey Alpha Two, Italy Victor, Denmark. Uh, Italy Victor, Italy Victor. Whiskey Alpha Two, Italy Victor, Denmark. Mobile in Kansas. You're five nine plus here. Roger W A Two I V D. Mobile in Kansas. Five nine Escambia County. Echo Sierra Charlie. Good evening. Q R Z from Kilowatt Four Tango. CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air. This is Kilo Juliet 4, Alpha Delta Victor, calling CQ for parks on the air. Anybody? Whiskey Alpha 2, Italy, Victor, Denmark, mobile. Wow, Whiskey Alpha 2, Italy, Victor, Denmark. I thought you were 5 and 9. You sound fantastic. Go ahead. Wow, well, thanks for the uh, good report. You're you're about a five and three here, about a five and three here. We are mobile in Kansas right now. Roger, Roger, whatever you're doing, keep it up. It sounded really good. I appreciate the five three out in Kansas. I'm only running ten whiskey tonight, figuring to see how far I can go. Very good. Well, you got a really good signal here in terms of uh, audio and re readability. I don't have uh, very much background noise at all, so even though with the low signal report, you still sound great here, too. Thanks for the activation. What What's the park number? Roger, Roger. Thank you uh, as well for hunting me down. The park numbers here are United Sierra 3841 and United Sierra 6888. Repeat 3841 and 6888. Okay, QSL the two parks. I'm driving, so I've got the I've got the recorder on, so I will uh, jot those down later. But we're running about a hundred watts here uh, with uh, an ICOM 7100 in the mobile. Roger that. What a fantastic radio. I've been looking at that 7100 for my truck for quite a while. Just haven't pulled the trigger. Uh, but yeah, you sound fantastic. And uh, hey, readability is where it's at in my book with uh, with just 10 whiskeys. This is uh, an ICOM 705 and uh, Buddy Hex. Very nice. No, it's doing a nice job. 705 is a great radio too. I'm running a uh, Wolf River coil with about a oh four and a half or five foot stainless steel whip on top of it. Roger, Roger, that's actually the same setup that a buddy of mine runs up near Washington, D.C. He loves the, the, just absolutely loves that setup. Uh, he's got a little tuner in the back tucked underneath the seat, and he just does whatever he wants to do with it. Yeah, wow, that's the same thing I have. I have a little tuner. I, I adjust the coil to get it close, and then I use the tuner to kind of trim it in for the final so I don't have to stop all the time when I'm on the road. And in fact, uh, if you don't mind, you're going to probably be on a YouTube video because I just did a repair video about this antenna. The wire on it was all broken, corroded, and I repaired everything. And I'm going to be doing the follow-up video on how well it worked. So I think this will be one of the contacts that makes it into that video. Hey, I absolutely appreciate it. I would say that uh, if nothing else from, uh, I don't know, I'm going to guess a thousand miles away, I can vouch for the fact that it's working quite well for you. All right, I appreciate it. Well, have fun with the activation, and uh, we'll catch you further down the log. WA2, India, Victor Delta, mobile. 
Roger that. Be safe out there in the mobile in 7-3. This is Kilo Juliet 4, Alpha Delta Victor. Well, there you have it. Some pretty good contacts. The antenna tunes up fine on 20 meters and 17 meters. I didn't do an extensive test on 15, 12, 10, and I really don't operate much mobile on 40 or 80. But I think this is good enough to say that the antenna is working fine again and the Wolf River coil is back to its normal performance again. So things look pretty good. I would say that the fix helped it. Remember, you need to do preventative maintenance on pretty much any antenna, but mobile antennas especially. And that even goes for the ones that have the enclosed coils where there's a plastic cover over this, the screwdriver antennas. If you look at like Tar Heel antennas, for example, you will find in their manual that they tell you annually to take the antenna, run it all the way up so that the coil is exposed, clean off the coil, and to clean off the copper tabs that go against the, you know, that contact against the coil. Most of the antennas are going to tell you you need to do maintenance. So you just have to do it because the weather will get to these things and the sun will get to them and UV will get to them and they just need antenna maintenance. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z. Remember, you need to do preventive maintenance. If you look at, um, if you look at, I can't think of their names.